Say hello. Hi, everyone. We're back here we again. Back. Yes, it's CompuTex. It's day number two. And uh, we are now on floor one at the non gang uh, convention hall. So, what we wanted to do is at least just take you around, see what we got here. Obviously, as you can see, we got the MSI, well, one of many MSI boots here. Uh, this particular one is all about uh, harsh environments and the, the uh, pretty much all in one systems that they have and automation and everything like that. Embedded devices. Embedded devices and everything. So, but. Which way are we going? Alright, we'll go this way first. We'll actually try and give you a full full walk around. Hopefully the uh, video looks good enough, everything, the quality is good enough. And hey, new thermal printer. Mmm, thermal printers. All sorts of stuff. Kiosks. I mean, there, there's, there's stuff from everywhere here. Uh, Elo, which I'm sure you've probably heard of. They do a lot of the touch class stuff and a lot of the uh, kiosk... Um, uh, processing, market processings. Um, this is actually uh, QoS and uh, scanners, scanning systems, um, and point of sale systems as well. So there's everything, pretty much everything from, uh, you know, like, again, scanners, point of sale stuff to, uh, yeah, this is all pretty much all point of sale stuff down here in this section. So much. There is. There is a lot down here. Like scanners galore. Oh, look at that one. Oh, cool. He can be a real RoboCop. Put it yeah. on here. Josh Finger. Judge, if you watch this, this is what we want. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. We're actually uh, oh, looking no, into Oh, no, this is what we want. Ooh. Check that out. You put your smartphone on top and it does the QoS for you. That's, that's... Scanner that's, attached to your cell phone. That's... That's exactly what we're looking for. Oh, watch yourself. I'm taking a nice photo. At Ryotech there. So let's see what else we got. What else? What else we got? More QoS. Seems like super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems like the way that it's divided, at least on this side of the hall, is uh, is all QoS. Like I said, more QoS stuff and POS or purchase purchasing stuff. Yeah. There's one of the hallways there. Pretty pretty incredible. Straight up good meeting cameras. Look at that thing. And there Wow. That's pretty cool. Wow, well, that's 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 a little inception, but that's pretty incredible quality, I'll tell you. That's which one? Wow, it's the one that's already mounted. That's pretty neat too. Very cool. <laughs> and healthcare scanners. Huh. Very, very cool. All sorts of different different stuff in this convention hall here. And again, remember, we're only on floor one. And on the left half of the, the building. Well, actually, the right half of the building. Um, some keyboards. Yeah, some keyboards. Medical, uh, medical keyboards and devices, input devices. Yeah, it's just like all. Uh... Oh, oh, there's some cases down here, though. What, what do we got down here? Let's go see these cases. Cases, cases, cases. Buffoon. Oh, buffoon. <laughs> Has anyone heard of them before? I don't know if I have, but that does look pretty neat. What is that? Hi. Hello. Look at that guy. That looks like you could do some fun stuff with it. I like that. And they also have, uh, uh, as you can see, all sorts of LED fans, RGB fans, everything like that. And they also have a couple. Oh, and they also have a couple. Look at those baby cases. Those little mini ones. I like that. Really see inside very well because the glass panel's on. But I really, really like those small cases. Those are cool. Even with these ones down here that you got. I mean, they they look kind of similar to you know your Corsair case, um, but that 
Those are pretty slick looking. I like them. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's go look at the other uh, other cases that they got on the outside here. Oh, look at that one. It's a hexa, which obviously looks like a hexagon. But it's a pretty sweet looking uh, little case there. And then this one, the 300. I'm going to have to imagine it's because it's a 300 mil fan on the front of that thing. It's massive, but it's sweet looking. Oh, that's even, that's even better. You have the yeah, motherboard is slanted at a size. About these cases? I don't know yet, you know? I haven't actually heard yet. We're, we're still trying oh, to figure out. Look at out. this. Whoa. The glass just slides. The glass slides in rather than... That's incredible. And same with... Oh, and the top just comes off? That's glass as well? Glass? Wow. Oh, and the front just pops right off too. Wow. That's pretty slick. Looks like it's already got it's got a power supply shroud already built in that's vented, which is pretty pretty awesome too. And it has holes in it for uh, cable management. That's that's a pretty slick looking case. I like yeah, yeah I like I, the I fact like that. that the glass. I mean, yep. Now it's open, and now it's closed. That is that's awesome. That's very very cool. Thank you. Those are cool little got them all here. I got, I got the book. Oh. oh! Okay, so we just got educated a little bit. These are actually uh, set up for your video card. So, because the video card sag is a massive problem. Um, this is a more aesthetic, more uh, flashy way to do it than just a, uh, a rubber grommet or a uh, screw or whatever the hell else you're going to want to use, but they, they got some pretty sweet cases on this one, yeah, too. I, I like that one, too. I like it. I do, too. I really like the sliding glass. One. Yeah, sliding glasses. Sliding glass. That's, that's awesome. Like yeah. You these little ones. I like the little ones, too. They're very, very cool. Also, also very, pretty decent cases. They're not bad at all. They look nice. I mean, even the one up top here, that's kind of sweet. I mean, you got, yeah, 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 for your oh, side you mounting mounts for your hard drive. Your that's a full size, and your uh, two and a half inch for your uh, SSDs. Woo! Just Kevin breaks. And then stuff. I'm breaking stuff, so I'm just gonna back away now. <laughs> but everything looks good. Hey, Joe. Oh yeah, that's that's, what that's what I want. Yeah. Oh well. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> so there's uh, another QR scanner, point of sale stuff. Thanks again for you guys joining us here uh, live on Facebook. Appreciate that. You know, we're just again doing just a quick quick walkthrough. With the uh, of the first floor. Okay, all right. So that was the back of the first floor. Now, uh, now we're gonna go through the center, which is uh, pretty much where everybody, everybody is. Kind of center. Kind of center, I guess, because it's divided into thirds. Uh, J K and I, I think, or I J K H I J K, something like that. I don't know. The Josh Brony. Brody, oh. here's your custom custom padding. Custom padding, made perfect. It's already made for all of the things that you uh, that you need, and you can make it yourself with those machines that they had there. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah. Hmm. Where you get some hard on for real amp tube amp amplifiers. Mm, old school. 
Catches two stuff. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Tube amplifier, a, a modern tube amplifier. Whoa. It's 14 terabyte drives that we uh, oh, yeah. uh, If you guys need storage, there you go. 14 terabytes, one hard drive. That's nuts. Hello? Sir, hello. So you're only interesting for the 14 terabytes. <laughs> well, we saw those and had to had to take a look because that's that's incredible. I don't think anyone else is doing that, right? Yeah, just Seagate, right? Seagate's it's just problem. Seagate. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Do you have any information? For the Seagate hard drive? And for these hard drives? No, we don't have. No? You no, could go, go to the Seagate's booth. They definitely have it. Okay, okay, cool. All right, very good. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very Thank you. much. Appreciate it. All right, so then I guess we know where we gotta go. We gotta go to the Seagate booth, which is pretty sweet. Chesses. 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 All right, what else we got here? Let's. Yeah, we're gonna go left because there's G Skilled and a couple others that are down this way that we'd like to show you. Take a look. We'll go to the Ace Rock booth first, and we'll loop around to the G Skill booth. But uh, the Ace Rock booth's got some pretty fancy, dancy stuff going on over here. They got some pretty cool booths and builds and whatnot. They also have, uh, you know, all of their motherboards on display with RGB goodness. The pros kind of sweet looking. I like that that black and white. That's kind of nice. I like that a lot. So I have a big uh, motherboard display, as well as uh, you know on the side here as well. But here's what I really wanted to see. I wanted to see these massive things. Uh, oh, this is the one Kalen's working. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Not bad. Yeah, it's. Are those, is that, that's black fluid, right? Yeah. It looks like swirly black fluid. Oh, it is. It's swirly bits black fluid. Rut row. That could probably be, be an issue later. But uh, apparently they have uh, V Color, which is uh, uh, part of Ace Rock, uh, have their own uh, RAM and whatnot. Um, and that's what they got going on here. Uh, but these these builds are pretty sweet looking. It's pretty cool. And then they got. <laughs> oh, sorry. Can I go up and shoot? Is that okay? And then we have everybody up here. You know, we have everybody say hello, 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 hello. hello. Everybody playing video games and having a good time. <laughs> hello. Thank you. That's awesome. Tons of tons of stuff going on at the Ace Rock booth. And it's just, it's sweet looking. I mean, you got builds. Their own, their own thermal take uh, cases, which don't look terrible, the glass cases. Hey, we have that case actually up at our build. Uh, Mikey P's got that one going on there. And they also have uh, a bunch of stuff set up so you can actually play games and see their, see their setups going on here. Um, <laughs> They also have a sweet box that has tons of stuff in there that you can actually <laughs> try and win, you know, SD cards and, and all sorts of stuff in there, which is kind of cool. Um, we have their uh, RAM that works in the trash can, and then they also have a, a mining setup that's over here, but we won't talk about that because, you know, mining. But they got a couple of things going on over here. It looks pretty sweet. It's got a nice little setup they got, and uh, oh, they also have all of their all their SSD memory and all of their uh, uh, DDR4 memory and NVMe stuff is here. It's all on display, but um, it's uh, it's pretty cool to be able to walk around and see all this stuff. 
Okay, those are RGB, the RGB M.2s. Oh, these are? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, RGB M.2s. So, yeah, if and you RGB need... RGB memory. If you need more RGBs for your computer, there oh, you go. Just open it, too. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> but, uh... Those M.2s, they glow RGB. I'm sure they're probably addressable and you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Same with that RAM too, as well. So, it's pretty neat. Oh. All right, let's go loop around here. And let's see if we can, uh, we can hit up the, uh, oh, oh, there's the Inwin booth. So let's go to Inwin first. I don't know where Joe went. Joe somewhere. Don't know. Don't care. See you later, Joe. So we're going to go to the N1 booth because I want to show you this case that just came out. They just released it. Um, it's kind of supposed to be like a billion dollars because it's not supposed to be just a case. It's supposed to be a piece of art. But look at that bad boy. Full aluminum case. Full water cooling inside of it. That's what they built inside. It's just... It's kind of sick looking. I mean, that's your computer case. Yeah, that's 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 pretty legit. That's pretty legit. And they also have uh, another one that's over here. That's uh, it's like a, a, a dark red or like a cherry type color. Um, with the inside, we the PCI or where the motherboard mounts in, uh, you actually attach everything. Everything's nice and red. Um, but what I was explained is that this case is extremely heavy. Um, these are actually the pieces that are over here, and they are they are not light at all in any way, shape, or form. Um, I don't think anyone has actually released the cost on this particular case yet. Um, but I do know that the the pieces themselves are made out of ridiculous uh, aluminum, and it's it's. I mean, it looks pretty slick. I, I think that that's, a, that's not a case anymore. That's a piece of art. And that's exactly what they did. Uh, they came out with a piece of art. But again, you know, the case being as big that it is and as uh, fancy as it is, I'm sure it's going to cost a pretty penny. Um, so let's go, uh, let's go take a look in a book. It's the Reading Rainbow. So this is the uh, other Corsair case. Um, this was done by Kunmod, but this is the 915, I think is what they call it. Um, the cool thing about this case is obviously that it has glass windows and whatnot, um, but the, the front panel does open, kind of opens like a hinge door. Um, but the cool part is that this button up here, where you have your fans, yeah. I'd buy it just for the stupid button to lower and raise the top of my case. That's that's pretty fancy. Uh, on top of that, if you press and hold the button here, um, the it will change to the RGB cycle, so you can actually still use the button to cycle uh, the different colors on your case um, to cycle the RGB independently from the motherboard and from the everything else that's actually attached to it. So, um, pretty pretty sweet little thing. Oh, that's the A1. I want one of those so bad. The A1s are, are sweet little tiny cases, uh, sweet little, little mini ATX type uh, computer cases, but that's pretty cool. They did a, um, an addressable LED front panel on that, and it's actually, uh, uh, they, they programmed it yesterday. I watched them do it, and it was, uh, <laughs> it was pretty cool. So here's that A1 again. See if I can get a little bit farther back. That A1 is is legit. So cool. I like that one too. The 305 and the 307. 307 is the one that has the addressable front panel. I'm pretty sure. Um, and there's that other one. <laughs> the 915. And again, I'm pretty sure. Press the button. Boom. Press the button again. Mmm. That's so sexy. I think that's one of the coolest features. I just like when you push buttons, but uh, no, you're good, you're good, thank you. Uh, this is a one-on-one case that was uh, made by their tough, tough gaming stuff. Now, obviously, it doesn't necessarily come with the digital panel here that's doing all the craziness, but um, it's pretty sweet looking. It's pretty slick looking uh, little case. Let's see what else they got going on here. 
So they have all of their uh, addressable LED stuff that they're coming out with. Um, actually, if I can explain this just a little bit quickly, um, they have proprietary connectors now um, that actually control and work in with everything. Um, and we also found out that you can plug everything in together. So like, they have all of these fans plugged in together, but they're only plugged into each other. Um, and they can actually be plugged into whatever. So you can have the LED strips plugged in wherever, in whatever line that you want. Um, and this is the cool part about these fans, right? So if you look on the top, they're actually connected via a wire, right? So, there you go, I can show it better down here. So this is how you actually bridge your LEDs and your fans together, and then you lead it off of one, whoop, and then it goes and runs to your, your main power source. I just think that's a pretty slick idea. I mean, the fact that you can just hook everything up together and then just use these little cables to join them together and make it all work. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty slick. What's going on there, Jake? Yeah, man, I, I we did a build in a 305, um, and we actually asked anyone for a, a A1, so we'll see if they actually uh, send us one, so we'll see. But uh, I haven't actually experienced the 307 yet, but we'll see what happens. All right, yeah, so this is what I was talking about with the inline. Like, it doesn't necessarily matter where you have your LEDs plugged in to this controller. It doesn't matter. You just plug everything in, good to go, and, and everything functions like it should. I mean, you can have it change colors in, in different areas, or you can have it actually work, you know, just make it work fine. So, it's pretty sweet. And then if you guys didn't know that EK and Inwin, uh, sorry, yeah, EK and Inwin have actually started working together and doing a bunch of uh, uh, parts together. Um, as you can see, they have their pump rest combo that has the Inwin logo that's on the inside of it, which is pretty slick looking. Same with the uh, the water block that they have down here, uh, and the 1080 block as well, uh, all EK branded as well. Um, they have their D-frame case, which is pretty slick with all the EK stuff inside. It's pretty nice looking, I like it. Don't look bad at all. I kind of like the front here, where they have a, it's a see-through uh, power supply. So you can actually see in the inside of the power supply while it's on. And I would imagine it's probably all RGB as well. So. Oh, nice. Best partner. They won. Uh, you guys probably saw this build that was at uh, PAX. Pretty sure that was at PAX. It was at PAX. It was at CES. Uh, but that one also EK components inside. And then the uh, one also has come out with their backpacks. Uh, it's supposed to be like your adventure backpack where you have uh, uh, your keyboard, your mouse, your headset, and all that stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much pretty much what we're doing. So, um, N1 also has these cases that are customizable, like the 303, um, where you can get custom ramps on them, custom vinyl stuff. And just if you wanted to make it a little bit more wild, you can. So, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so, more, more of the cases. Uh, these are actually, uh, they had an in-one case modding competition. That one's by David, David Carthy, I'm pretty sure. Um, which is actually pretty slick looking. It's got some nice stuff going on in the inside. Uh, this one, of course, is built by the one, the only, uh, Peter Brands. Uh, if you can tell, this case is all sorts of cut up, all sorts of customized, and just just nuts. Because, you know, I don't like the front panel on the front, so I'm going to put it on the back. Just because. So, I'd, again, incredible work. Awesome stuff. Oh, this one was by Jesse P. I know him too. Uh, Jesse's uh, been modding for a long, long, long time. This build looks pretty sweet. I was watching him build this on Facebook and Instagram. Pretty, pretty slick looking build for sure. Pretty, pretty cool. All of these builds are pretty nice. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to go over to the thermal take. Uh, I wanted to show you this area as well. Um, you know, obviously we got Stuart and K Maud and Polycat and everybody like that. Jesse P is also over here. Um, Devour is also over here as well. Um, and actually, pretty sure, pretty sure that's the owner of G Skill. I think I could be wrong. I probably am, but you know, I'm still learning this. So you know, this one right here. That's a good one. K Maud. Came up, came down, and made this this wicked-looking one. 
mostly built by singular PCs, uh, singularity PCs, or singularity computers as it is. You can see that res that's in the back there, built by them, with the pump res combo on the bottom of it. That's slick looking, very slick. With the Swift Tech blocks, those look, those look pretty awesome. Now this thing here is just nuts. Uh, this is my Polycat. Where, uh, they put obviously crazy amounts of water cooling inside of it, but there is a clear LED screen on their glass that is doing all of the animations that you see right now, which is just bonkers, just insane. Um, this one, this one's by Jesse P. Another awesome one by GP Modified. Makes some pretty slick looking stuff. Awesome stuff. This one, another one, the only, the Mr. Stewart Tonks. Looks, uh, looks pretty fancy there, Mr. Stu. Stu Stu. That looks pretty cool. I'm uh, not sure about that swirly fluid, but we'll see. Uh, this one though, oh my goodness, okay. AI mask is what it's called, and I have never seen a radio PC like this before that actually looks vintage as hell. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. It's just like a, uh, uh, an old school Mustang, you know? Just, just incredible. Incredible. Oh, and then you got, you got Trouble 1 and Trouble 2 over here working on PCs, making sure it's not leaking and stuff. Say hello! <laughs> you guys from Case Kings here working on their stuff. Got some some, some pretty cool stuff. Beer Bauer. Now this uh, this this motherboard is actually in mineral oil just constantly running. And then uh, they have a water block that's on top of the heat sink that's actually taking the condensation off of it. Uh, so you're not actually gonna have any sort of water buildup inside of the case. But I wanted to show you that. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we've got some more. Okay, so this is where they were, uh, I think they were trying to do as many, up, uh, uh, see how high they could get their RAM to go. Um, so that one actually made it to 5,000 megahertz, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, this one made it up to 4,600, which is, again, ridiculous. Uh, 4,700, 4,800. And then uh, the other one is uh, 3600 as well. But I mean, pretty sweet looking builds. I like that res up top. That's kind of cool. LED's not working up top, but that's sweet looking. I like it a lot. I like that a lot. So, very, very cool stuff. Let's go take a look at their memory real quick that they have on display. They have um, the memory that's actually rotating on a, a lazy Susan, as we call it. But check out these Trident Z chromed out RGB sticks. Like, yes please, I'd like some more. Like, those are awesome. Talk about bling bling. Oh, so sweet. Uh, but they have everything else on display. They have their, their Ares X and the Sniper and the Ripjaw stuff that's also on display. Uh, but it sounds like they're doing something fun over here. So let's go see what the hell's actually going on. Uh-oh. See what's happening. Quick Ma, if you're ready to join the G Scale party, could you please give me some feedback? Woohoo! Alright! So thank you so much to join with us today. And as usual, uh, I'm proud to say G Scale is the best among the best and the only that yesterday we just break the world records. The DDR4 frequency is up to DDR4 5541 megahertz. And today we co work with ASUS, Samsung, and Intel. And um, our builders are ready. So, guys, are you ready? Alright, now, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Is the fantastic product show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to Natalia and Daria! First of all, we present to you the G-Scale Ring Joe KN780. 
The KM780 series mechanical gaming keyboard is designed and built for the ultimate typing and gaming experience. Built with the famously durable Cherry MX key switches, military grade brushed uh, aluminum top plate, extra FPS gaming keycaps, and a G-Skill driver system for the full customization control. Featuring onboard memory, let's store three complete profiles. Your settings go wherever you go. And now, Tanya and Mesa. G-Skill Triton Z RGB. The fastest RGB memory which broke the DDR4 5000MHz memory on the airplane and the first RGB memory breaks the DDR4 5.5GHz world record barrier. Also won the Red Dot IF Design European Hardware Computex DNI Award. Featuring a completely exposed light bar with vibrant RGB LEDs. And now, Lara and Ksenia. The Triton Z RGB is merged with the award-winning Triton Z has better design and constructed with the highest quality components. The Triton Z RGB DDR4 memory case combines the most vivid RGB lightning with uncompromised performance. The Triton Z memory is the world's first to bring DDR4 4600 MHz to XMP rated speed on the launch. Also won the IF Design and European Hardware Design Award. Built on the strong success of G-Scale Triton Series, Triton Z Series represents one of the world's highest performance DDR4 memory break, the DDR4 5000 MHz overclocking world record barrier. And now, Sunny and Alyssa. G-Skill Sniper X Series, the latest DDR4 memory, not only won the Red Dot Design Award, but also engineered with for way for the ultimate gaming experience. Uniquely designed with a common French pattern and silk, many aesthetic has burners in multiple color variations to match your system color show. And also our gaming mouse. Interchangeable side grips, high adjustable palm rest, and onboard profile storage, adjustable waist, applicable laser sensor, overall micro switch, a fully programmable button, and customizable four zone RGB backlighting. Last but not the least, now let's work on Ryland. It's the G-Skill Ares X memory. The G-Skill Ares X memory is the latest low-profile DDR4 memory with a silk and modern design and comes in black, white, or red colors. The last but not the least, the juice go Aries. Okay, now time to take some pictures of our supermodels. Alright, so let's get out of there. Which as you can see, there's tons of people here, you know, watching this happen, watching it go down. Everybody's taking photos. Everybody's, you know, just crowding around uh, to see what's happening. So, pretty, pretty sweet. Oh, hey, look who I found. It's Joe. Joe's here. Okay. He's back. All right. Need to walk around. Let's go. Let's go uh, take a look at something else then, shall we? I went through that. I'm going through that. Okay. So let's go to. Uh, let's go check out ID Cooling and uh, uh, in uh, Seasonic and a couple other places. Um, yeah. Show me the England crazy. Yeah, bung wires, I, I kind of totally agree. Yeah, no, I already went through that, so this is just nasty. Um, I'm not really sure 
I, between uh, G Skill, uh, there's actually two other companies that have, um, uh, at least I would imagine, uh, non non local models here. What is that? Wow. All right, so let's walk. Just keep going. See Sonic. See Sonic's next. Take a look at that. See what they got on display, which is a couple cool things. Uh, they have uh, all sorts of server racks and all sorts of power supplies and everything like that. But on the other side is where they actually have a whole bunch of a uh, uh, bunch of other people. <laughs> I try. I gotta be somewhat politically correct, right? I don't know if you guys saw this build. This is the Sea Sonic build that they've been doing for a while. It's a uh, pretty sweet looking. It's in that Fantex case, the new one. That's awesome. It's just, just incredible. Awesome looking. Very cool. That's a sweet. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It looks like a distribution block, and then you plug. I think you plug everything in down there. I think is what how that works. You plug, yeah. You just you feed it in through the bottom here, and you have your wires and whatnot. It actually goes into the back of the board there, and then you can just run all your extension cables straight to that. Yeah, sick indeed is what I'm saying. That's just nuts. Oh, some of you people might know this guy. It's Linus. Linus Tech Tip. Say hello. hello. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Figured I'd at least say hello because you're here. Him and his crew. Everybody hanging out. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. But it's pretty sweet. The Seasonic booth looks awesome. I mean, they've got a lot of stuff. What's going on there, Anatoly? Appreciate it. I will see if I can find uh, Catherine and say hello to her for you. I got all of their power supplies out, the snow versions, snow silent, that's what they got. And they got the primes that are out as well, that's pretty cool, pretty sweet looking. You guys also might know that guy back there, Stu Tonks, one of the one of the uh, good modders in the world here, uh, working at the Seasonic booth with his, uh, his stuff going on, but pretty sweet looking, pretty cool, pretty fancy. On the other side of the Seasonic booth uh, is another uh, like a RGB style fan place uh, with cases and whatnot. Uh, Taiwanese company, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Frontier is what they're called. They have some pretty decent looking cases, but not bad. Um, but what I really wanted to do is ID cooling, um, which do you know IO, AIOs and stuff like that, and have. Uh, fans and RGB stuff, which is, you know, pretty much par for the course now. Um, where I was going, oh, Joe's busy doing Joe things, taking photos of whatever. You done yet? Yeah, I already did. Alright, so, also wanted to go see... You need to go down and walk around. I'm gonna go see if we can find Be Quiet and uh, Noble. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, another place that does uh, sales. What is that? Look at that thing. Hmm. Interesting. Hello. Very neat. Very cool. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Anaconda is also uh, uh, like a, a gaming uh, company that sells hardware, and I'm pretty sure they sell like uh, hard drives and solid state drives and stuff like that. Also have a couple pretty decent cases on display. Ah, uh, that's gonna be flow meter. It doesn't look like it's flowing very much, but it does look pretty decent. Oh, well, what about, oh, and then they also have, I don't know if you guys have seen or heard of these people, John's Bro. We actually have this exact case back at the shop, the John's Bro, this is the mod, I, don't know. I think it's mod one. Yeah. 
pretty sweet looking. Pretty sweet. I like it. So let's see what else we got here. Uh, Bitcoin miners and stuff like that. That's pretty popular around here as well. There's also... Um, so let's go to Avacore. Oh, there's an announcement. Whoa, that's kind of a cool case. That's kind of sweet looking. Uh, you have your hard drive base in the front there, obviously, just like you, you normally would. But also on the... Oh, you can adjust the RGBs from the front, which is pretty sweet looking. And it does look... Everything's addressable as far as I can tell. Uh, looks like you have the ability to put all sorts of stuff in here. And up on the top here is actually where your power supply is going to sit in the back. So your power supply actually sits up top rather than sitting on the bottom like most cases do. And uh, you have this like nice nice wire truss that's in the top here um, to actually hold everything nice by itself. It's very nice. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Yes, let's see. Your side, you notice the Yeah, there we go. Okay, all right. All right, cool. So it actually has a built-in uh, RGB controller in it, which is pretty sweet. Um, but what I'm interested in is that that area right there seems like it would fit a radiator real nice that's what I'm thinking and then you just take take this front out you could do a whole monster rat in the front very nice very very nice thank you only thing uh, yeah that's pretty sweet yeah I couldn't agree more I think that's a that's a pretty slick way of doing the uh, the power supply uh, I I question the amount of airflow on top though because it didn't seem like there was much ventilation. Uh, so, but their power supplies look kind of slick too. It's like a, their rims have like a different type of um, uh, fan grill on them. You know, They're pretty sweet looking. Not bad. Um, they also have something similar to the in one fan, uh, the the bladeless fan or the frameless fan that they have here, as you can see. No, no frame all the way around it, which is kind of cool. It's addressable. I would imagine it's addressable LED from the inside, um, and it glows right from the center of the motor. So that looks pretty sweet. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Very cool. Is there any specific kind of no, we were just looking around. This is awesome. I really, really appreciate it. That's very cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. New York, actually. New York. Yes, sir. I'm from California. Are you really? Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Absolutely. Kevin, by the way. Kevin, I'm going to say. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You have any information about uh, your cases and your stuff that you have here? I'd love to take a look. All right. Oh, you want to, what, like a... Where oh, you like, like oh, yeah. video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. YouTube or what? Uh, Facebook, actually, right Facebook. now. Facebook, oh, okay. Yeah, we actually have a bunch of people that uh, want to see the mods and everything that can oh, actually mod. made it out. So, oh, I see. Um, we're an online reseller that sells all the hard, uh, the water cooling parts that you need, uh -huh. um, but we also do modding as well. Okay. So, these some of the cases that you guys have here that look really, really nice. Yeah, we are just mounting our brand to the world. Oh, okay. This year. Really? Like, from Taiwan. Taiwan. Oh. Yeah. Okay, wow, that's yeah, pretty cool. We're number cool. one Korea, but then like we haven't... Start our things in the uh, other country. Really? Yeah. Oh. So we are just going to launch. Nice. That's awesome. You can measure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, then I'll be in contact. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Can I get your business card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get that for you. Hold on. There you go. That's me. Uh, my name is Kevin. I'm actually the uh, CMO for Mod My Mods. I see. So, okay. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we're like I said, an online reseller. We do all sorts of different things, but. I wanted to at least give you that. Oh, so. Yeah, Rochester, New York. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Well, enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, yeah. All you right, too. take it easy. Thank you. Again, those are pretty cool. Pretty cool little cases. So, Abcor uh, launching their stuff just now. Um, the, apparently, they're uh, very popular in uh, Korea, but not in uh, America yet. So, I don't know. Maybe we can uh, figure something out. Those RGBs look kind of cool on the headphones huh looks like they got keyboards too but I guess everybody in their mom's doing keyboards now so uh, they do some pretty sweet stuff this is the uh, the T-Force booth that's over here uh, they have a couple computers that are set up and a couple displays so let's go take a look at what they got over here got thermal take all in one Got the guy 
guys playing some stuff. But yeah, uh, T Force has also come out with this RGB uh, SSD. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. Uh, those different colors RGB crossing that matches with their RAM. Uh, I would imagine it's probably all addressable as well. Uh, but pretty sweet little display that they got going here as well. Hello. It's pretty, pretty nice. So pretty, pretty nice. All right, let's see what else. Okay, now we're going to be, we're going to be quiet. So shh, make sure you're quiet before we get over here. And then we'll go say hello to these folks. Be Quiet has got one heck of a display going on over here, um, as you can see. Uh, Ronnie here has got one of his builds here. The Tracer build. Pretty, pretty sweet looking build, bro. I like it. I like it a lot. Very, very slick. But you guys probably know Ronnie. Oh, this is by uh, M MGMR, is what it's called. It looks pretty sweet. It's got uh, uh, borrow stuff on the inside there. Inside of one of the Be Quiet cases, it's the uh, Pure Base 900 or 600. That's the smaller one. So, and they have it next to it. And then they also have tag mods. They did a, uh, a Black Panther build, which looks pretty sweet. It's got the Be Quiet all in one uh, block on it, and then uh, uh, they hard tubed it with some different fittings. Looks pretty sweet, but the Be Quiet place is uh, pretty nice. It looks pretty sweet. Oh, we know this guy here, Martin. Hello, sir. How are you? Love my mod. Yes. Say hello. You're you're live with us on Facebook. Yes. Technically, are these lovely guys also work with the Be Quiet to help them out with doing everything that they do? Um, and they they were uh, nice enough to invite us to the party tonight. Uh, so we'll be we'll be there later this evening, which would be pretty cool. But. Um, all right, see what we got here. That's pretty sweet. This is uh, by Dutch Lion Customizing. I don't know if you guys have heard of them either, um, but they make some pretty awesome looking stuff. It's just, it's just incredible. I mean, the the amount of stuff that they actually have on display and whatnot is just, it's a pretty slick looking looking place. So let's go take a look at the uh, the other things that they got going on over here. But, that's pretty slick. Pretty slick. And you know, they have their um, computers on display. They also have a new one that just came out um, that they have on display as well. But uh, their power supplies and everything else looks pretty sweet. Looks pretty sweet. Alright, uh, so Gamer Storm. Uh, I, I think they still do, to be honest with you, I don't really know what they do, but I do know that they have one of these ridiculous cases on display, so I wanted to go take a look at it and see the actual case. I mean, that just looks, that looks incredible. They've got the, everything in the inside there, EK blob, EK pump rose combo. See what they got on the inside there. That's pretty sweet. I mean, that's a pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, that, that's a sweet looking build. And this is actually what the guy is doing. He's playing on it right now. Yeah. Driving around. I think it's uh, Project Cars 2. Pretty sure that's what it is. So it's a sweet build, though. Very, very sweet looking build. I like it. We actually. Um, <laughs> We saw the guy actually putting it together yesterday <laughs> when we walked by. I'm like, so how's it going? He's like, oh, it's real great. Every single part laid across the floor, all open. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. So well, this is the other one that they got going on here. That's the, um, the Star Wars version of it. It looks, I mean, just, just incredible. The amount of detail that went into that. It's called the Quad Stellar is what they have. But everything's, everything's all. That fan grill, though, that's pretty cool, too. And they also have uh, a video card with the, the hard line and everything's in there. Sorry. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Wow. And the, the flaps open and close. I mean, that's just some, some, some bonkers stuff. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta go.
I gotta go. That is just this blowing my mind. My mind is blown. All right, now we, we made it to where I kind of wanted to go, which was the Noble Chair booth. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because Noble Chairs have two things. Uh, one, they have beer. Two, they have comfortable chairs, but mostly they have beer. So I figured we would go and see if uh, if Iwin would say hello to us. He probably will. But uh, see, they know how to do it right. You have pretzels and beer on top. It's fantastic. Ivan from Noble Chairs, how are Hi, you, sir? Going? Not too bad, good, how are you? I'm fine. Good, good, good. How's everything going here? Excellent, everything. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Just wanted to show uh, our viewers around your booth and yep. take a look at the uh, the awesome chairs that you guys got yeah, going on. Yeah, go ahead and have a look. If I have any questions, just give me a show. Cool. Yeah. All right, sounds like plan. Yeah. i got to come back for a beer later, huh? Yep. Yeah. Do you want one now? What? I don't know get if I... Get on camera. Uh, oh, boy. All right, there get it is. Camera. Sure, why not, right? Yep. Aaron Digger. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll have okay. one. Absolutely. Yeah, you want one? Sure. Why not? This will be my first time actually trying it because it's so, <laughs> so if I fail. Oh, that's not bad. He's got a good pour going. No pressure, though. No pressure. <laughs> yes, yes. You guys been busy today? Yeah, it's been, uh, actually today's a lot busier than yesterday. I think a lot of people have arrived today uh, from the plane and whatnot. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Lots of interest in our chairs. That's good. That's good, though. So it's, uh, thank you very, very much. Oh, and it's even got a noble chair on the beer. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you very, very You're much, welcome. sir. We'll see you soon, all right? Yeah, come back for a refill. Oh, yeah, another one later. A refill? Another? I might. Don't, don't forget your pretzel. <laughs> oh, now I don't have enough hands. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> you just walk away. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you, man. All right, let's go take a look at this uh, display that they have on because I want to show you the uh, the different chairs that they have just so you can see them. Uh, this is that that Napple leather. Oh, that Napple leather. Look at that. Just, mmm. It's just, just so hot. And then same with this one. And they also have, like, the, the, the foot stand for you, too. So if you're... You really want it. That's they got it for you. That's awesome. All right, let me get out of here. Excuse me. Thanks, cool. See ya. So they also have um, a couple builds that are on display because uh, Noble Chair works with uh, uh, Case Kings pretty well, um, and uh, they have some. Yeah, they've got some pretty incredible stuff going on. I mean, well, I mean, I mean, look at that. That's that's just. That's that's pretty. I'm I'm in, I'm impressed. Oh, and they even they even used the an eight. Uh, so that's a 16 pin uh, cable comb instead of just an eight. Wow. Ran them both together and everything. That's pretty cool. It's in the new Fantex Elite case, which is massive, as you can tell. Um, okay, so this this is a little bonkers too. Look at that thing. Crazy crazy district rate. It's by. Um, Designed by APAC, as you can tell, Overclockers UK. Um, but they they've got three cards in there. Sorry that the glass is is still on the case. I'd take it off for you, but they probably get mad. Um, but look at that! Yeah, a massive radiator underneath there. Incredible, really. And so a couple of the things you got over here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nuts. Pretty, pretty nuts. Oh. Apparently they're uh, doing another thing over here. Oh, and then there's another, another one for you. Another bits of power bill. Pretty sweet looking. Pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. But uh, this is the XPG booth. Um, they also sell membrane components as well. They're obviously busy as hell, and they got a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure that's someone that they know. But pretty cool, pretty cool stuff they got going on over here. So, but then they also have a, um, a Fantex case, one of the big Fantex cases on the back here. Those are the uh, Fantex Pumpers combos. Uh, that they were selling there that's are pretty sweet and there's actually two of them so you have two of those inside of the case there is 
it's a uh, it's the Fantex Elite case as well, the Evolve case. Pretty sweet looking. Pretty nice. How's it going? Good. Like your display. It looks very nice. You're welcome. You're very welcome. See if I can do the card exchange with a beer in the hand. Here we go. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. All right. Oh, from Data. Okay. Thank very you. cool. Yeah. No worries. Uh, XPG is uh, uh, like the A Data gaming style type of thing. So kind of like a Republic of Gamers, but uh, uh, a little bit more intense. A little bit more intense. I like right. it though. Thank I like you. it a lot. Yeah. Very cool. You guys have a crazy booth going on. Yes. Yeah. It's very nice. Very nice. I actually, I'm going to step in and take a look at that one. Computer. Sure, sure, sure. Cool. Very cool. Whoa. Whoa. That's a radiator on the bottom of a PC. But that's not... What? That's a pressurized system. That's a completely 100% pressurized system. Holy cow. You ever seen anything like that, guys? No, me either. That, that's just incredible. That's awesome. And there's that. There's one on the front too. And I mean, the thing on the front is just massive. Look at that. Wow. The whole computer is a radiator, pretty much. That's. Oh my God, that boggles my mind. And then you got this one over here, which is the. Uh, I'd say other Fantex case. But I mean, it's just very well done. And they did did everything right, you know. Got the Fantex block in there with the XPG RGB stuff in it, and pump res combo with the lights. It looks really sweet. But this one, this one computer that has the rads built into it and pressurized, that's just that's just nuts. That's nuts. Okay, I gotta go. My head's my head's exploding. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Good, thank you. Thank you. That was just nuts. Okay, so Epic Gear has this ridiculous looking booth. Uh, but as you can tell, mostly everything around here has got a ridiculous looking booth. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know how to tell you. There's the Bits Power booth, which is just, again, awesome. Awesome and crazy all at the same time. How's it going? Good? And they've got, I've, they've got some really, really cool stuff on display. Like, just, just awesome looking stuff. Up top. That's cool. Yeah, that's very, very cool. Inside the Lee and Lee dynamic case. Pretty slick looking. And then what the heck is this? Obviously they've got some uh, some some cooling going on in there. Just 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 just, just a little bit of cooling, but I mean, they got a whole freaking, they got a tornado. Does your computer tornado, bro? Because apparently there it does. There's dust, and that's just. Again, that's 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 what we come for. I mean, to see the stuff that's like this, that is just insane and bonkers. Is, that's what we're here for, you know. To see any of this type of stuff is pretty cool. Very cool. G-force build. That's by Tim. Yeah, Tim Warning did that one. Yeah. That one, which is pretty slick looking. And then, oh, what is that looking one? That's slick. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and we got one more. The marquee. Did that one. Pretty slick looking. Pretty cool. Alright, let's go take a look at the, uh, the Enermax booth. And then there's the four game booth as well. So let's take a look at Enermax. We'll go to four game, we'll go to Bit Phoenix, and then I'm probably gonna get back to work, which I am working, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? Pretty sweet looking inside the Enermax. Enermax has got a couple new cases that are coming out too um, that have uh, uh, RGB inside uh, throughout the top and uh, the sides of it. But Yeah, expensive indeed, my friend. Expensive indeed. That's Intermax. It's all AOI uh, that has the RGB and the flow meter built into the actual pump res, which is on the CPU block, which is pretty sweet. And then you also have, you know, the black version of their case. But, and 
and I think we have some more around the other side. Let's go, Let's go see what we got on the other side. People really don't like me walking around with a beer, though. They say, oh my god, that guy's got a beer near my computer. Oh my god. So. Pretty, pretty slick, man. Pretty slick. Pretty slick looking. They got a couple things on display. They're passive coolers and some other things. Appreciate it. They're coolers and whatnot. They actually show their fans and how they're actually created and designed. Uh, they have, uh, I will say, their pump, their pump rose combo thing looks pretty sweet, especially with the RPM readout, and you can control it and make it do whatever. And they're, they're pretty sweet looking. They're pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's take a look at this one last build here that's inside of the Enermax, and then we'll uh, head over to the other one. But that's a, that is a lot of bends. That is a lot of bends. No problem. Oh, wow. Apparently, uh, Enermax is getting into the fitting game. And those fittings, those fittings look nice. I like the edges on them. 45 and 90s and stuff like that. Those look, I like those. You guys are going to have to tell me what you guys think about those, because I, I like those a lot. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, those are cool. Are those available now? They are? Yeah, the fittings? Not yet? What do you think? Okay. All right. Sounds like a plan. Cool. Thank you. So hopefully in the next... Uh, what are what are they actually made out of? Are they aluminum? Uh, yes. They are? Okay. Perfect. Awesome. So aluminum, lightweight. Better than... Well, not necessarily better, but aluminum fittings, which, uh, you know, if you're looking to get into the... Uh, the thermal take land and you don't want to cross metals and want to make sure everything works together that's going to be one one heck of a way to do it so uh, hopefully in the next couple months they said they'll have those out um, we can take a look at those too so all right let's go to the four game take a look at this and i gotta go to phoenix and then probably do more work <laughs> all right so let's see let me check this beer Okay, so the Ford game apparently has all sorts of different types of cases. I mean, everything. All sorts of different types of cases. Which look kind of sweet. I also have these cases over here. Not bad. Not, bad. Not, not better at all. And they also have um, the power supplies. They have, and they actually have the insides of the power supplies open, too. Which is pretty, pretty simple. So, they have, uh, and then they have this thing. This, this massive thing that they have down here that is just, just littered with stuff. I mean, it's got Bysky, this, that, and the other. It also has the new Bysky CPU and GPU block that's inside there that has the readouts, very similar to the Alpha computer, or the Aqua computer one. It's just, it's just ridiculous, you know. And then they have, I have this one too. That's very similar to the uh, Thermal Take one, um, but it's it actually looks better, I think. It also has a spot in the back for your hard drives and your power supply. So if you didn't actually want to see the power supply and still wanted to have an open glass case, you you could. And then this guy down here is a, it's got skis and springs on it and stuff, and also, littered with the Bisky stuff. It's got the new Bisky block on it. Pretty sure that's the one for the AM4. And uh, the red, the red chromed uh, fittings and the, the polished, uh, the red chromed tubing. Very, very, very cool. Very nice. Take a look at their, uh, all their cases. Those are all, that's all plastic. Plastic, plastic. All plastic. Doesn't look like they have any glass or anything like that. Oh man, that looks like an old school. That looks like an old school danger den. Look at that. I like. It has like even flip toggle things on the front. That's like old school. That's that's kind of cool. Kind of sweet. All right, let's look at the uh, the Phoenix. The bits of the Phoenix. Let's see what we got here. We got um, one of the builds. Sort of sponsored build. It's got G skill memory in it. A couple other things. Pretty slick looking. Not terrible. 
terrible. Another build over here. Oh god. Bad dude. Alright, let's see here. I'm pretty sure that's Mount Jeff. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Doing big work. Big, big work. You know how it is. So, alright, let's go look at this, because I did want to see this build. This is the one that has, like, you can, you can, you, you build it, and then you close it. You build it all up, once it's all done, you're good to go, you just jam it all in there, and you hit close, and that's it. Nothing else to it. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it looks like um, something from Portal, from Portal 2 or something like that. It's just the, the, the overall design with it. I want to put a red light right in the middle of that thing so bad. That, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Another film that they got here, Bifina, or Bits Power uh, Fittings. It's pretty sweet. One more. So, But that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So, alright, I think what we're going to do then, guys, is we're going to we're going to end it there. One, I have to get rid of this beer because I continually have to keep drinking it and people don't like it when I'm walking around with a beer in my hand and in front of computers, so I don't, don't blame them for that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough that we had and the little bit that you had to see and that you got to see. Uh, we're going to continue doing this uh, every day, try and do a little bit more and more and walk through because it's, it's a long way. Let's be honest. I mean, from from the United States, it's, uh, it was a 15-hour drive or 15-hour flight from Toronto. Um, so it was just it was incredible to actually make it out here. So we're we're very very ha happy to be here, and and the best that we can do, I will share as much as I got. You know, uh, photos wise, videos wise, live stream wise, everything that I can do for you guys, I I will do it. Oh, there's one more place. I'm sorry. There's one last place we gotta go to, and I promise it'll be worth it. Here's why. We're gonna hit this. Cause it's Lee and Lee. I I love Lee and Lee. I've always loved Lee and Lee. I've always thought that their stuff is really, really good. And I think that there's just they've got some incredible stuff going on here. Um, if you guys didn't see it, they have these clip-on parts that go to your wires that will make them RGB and addressable. So if you want to make it do crazy waves and stuff like that, you can. You can make it look all nutso. And on top of that, they also have a, a bunch of different builds that are here. GGF built that one, obviously, as you can see. In the uh, Dynamic 011 case, the 011 Dynamic case, uh, which is actually on its way to our shop now. Uh, we should have one coming up in the next build that we're doing here. Um, but these builds are actually pretty slick. That's a thread ripper for sure, uh, with a big uh, bicycle block on it, with a Strix block as well from EK. And then uh, this is actually the Liam Lee's making their uh, AOI or AIO, sorry, all in one. Um, but that's just an example. Probably, I would imagine, it's probably got the same type of uh, pump that uh, everybody else has. Um, but uh, wanted to show you guys this. I also wanted to show you this build. This is from our, our buddy Mikey P. At, uh, PC Customs. He also finished this build. I shared it a couple times on our Facebook, so you probably have seen this before at one point. Um, but he's got the passive radiators in there with the RGB, uh, RGB everything, and just, just everything. You know, that's pretty cool. So uh, this is also the O11, but it's not the Dynamics. It's actually the O11 Air Case. Um, which is actually the only difference is that you have the instead of having the glass on the front um, You have vent on the front and vent on the back um, Also, you might notice that Mikey P's uh, case looks a little odd because Well, these two cases are kind of facing each other and you realize that what he did is he actually took this case And flipped it inside out and then built it backwards. So that's why motherboards upside down graphics cards upside down <laughs> But that's Mike and that's just what he does. <laughs> he goes a little above and beyond. He goes a little nuts, though. But you know, that's why we love him too. And then, last but not least, what you got is uh, you have uh, the the desks and stuff like that. What's going on, Jameson? Yeah, man. Jameson from Lee and Lee was uh, just walking out the door, so I wanted to say hi. Um, but I wanted to show you the guys that you have these desks, right? 
So Lee and Lee are, start, are starting to make these desks that are all in one. Um, but the cool part is, is they're actually height adjustable. So it's a height adjustable water cooling desk. And now I'm gonna show you this the best that I can, but obviously, as you can see, there's so many friggin' reflections off the top of this glass, I can't see much of anything. But that's actually a dual system build inside of there. You can have a, uh, that looks like a GTX block board. Yeah. And a bunch of different stuff. It's got a note with you on the front of it, which looks pretty, pretty slick. But, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff in there. That's the big, uh, the big desk. And then what they were also coming out with is they're coming out with a smaller desk as well. Um, and this is actually just for the single system user type of deal, uh, which has, again, it's adjustable. It, uh, it will raise and lower if you want to stand up and work and do all that type of stuff. But it also has enough room that if you wanted to do a dual system build, you could. At least it looks like, right? Looks like it has plenty of space so you could jam an ITX in there as well as a full ITX. But it's a, it's a slick looking little, little desk. That's awesome. Those should be coming out very, very, very soon. But so on top of that, they also have uh, their fans that they're coming out with, um, and they have a couple other cases that they have uh, that they're coming coming with and stuff like that. So, uh, but I wanted to at least show you guys that because that to me, that to me was huge. That's a that's a very, very big thing. So uh, I really, really like the the Lee and Lee stuff. Their cases have always been incredible. They've always made. Awesome stuff. So um, I think what we'll do is uh, come back here. Uh, we'll go take a look at that. We'll take a look at some other stuff. And like I said, once I find some more stuff and uh, find more things to do, maybe charge up the phone, maybe charge up my own batteries, uh, we'll go from there. So thanks again for joining us, guys. And I will have more contact for you soon. And we'll talk to you later. See ya.